Hey guys, what's up? I am Jazaila. Welcome to my channel. Um, pardon me for the very messy background, but this is my uh, guest room, and this is where I put. This is where Fauzi put his workstation, and during this period of the circuit breaker, I have to actually borrow his workstation. Right. Um. About being productive uh, at home, uh, one of the things, I mean, being at home, it's so easy to just, you know, um, sleep and slide and just watch Netflix all day. And I know that we're supposed to work from home and, um, but there's so much distraction at home, like sometimes you don't get the focus and, and that, what, that was what I have. Uh, trouble with the, the first couple of days being home and all that and I find that one of the uh, ways for me to be disciplined and be focused and be on track um, is to make sure that before I sleep at night that I go through all the things that I need to accomplish for that day and just going through like as if I am still going to and in fact I think for those of us who is working from home right and um, I know most companies are not micromanaging their their employees, uh, and so one of the ways for me to just make sure that I do what I needs to be done on a daily basis is to remember that um, that working from home is an amana. Um, it's it's a privilege. Not everybody gets it, uh, and not everybody, um, you know, uh, have that option. And so I know that a lot of uh, companies, what their worry is like, you know, if I, if my staff works from home, are they going to be as productive? Are things going to get done? Things like that. And I think for the most part, being adults and all, I think you should like make sure like whatever things that needs to be done like on a daily basis that it gets done when one of the ways to remind yourself that working from home is an amana and for me I remind I, I, I constantly tell myself that doesn't mean that I don't go to school and school doesn't happen that learning does not happen that I don't try as best as I could as a teacher to deliver the lessons to my students um, I'm in preschool and therefore home based learning is not as um, how should I say like maybe critical in the sense that you know we're doing life lessons and all that I mean we don't do life lessons but I still feel like it is my responsibility to make sure that I check in with my students um, every day and just make sure that we are um, we are on par we are online together and that you know every day I um, send them a text message um, on like what needs to be done, what needs to happen, and um, I feel like uh, like that's that's just what I do to to make sure that um, school still happens, learning still happens. You know, even though uh, schools are closed, I personally what I do is I just record lessons uh, as if I'm teaching the class live um, but I record it and I upload it and then I give the link to the parents so that um, you know it's only uh, the audience are quite limited uh, so even though I'm not physically there in the classroom um, I uh, it is I have to step out of my comfort zone and sort of learn all the technicalities and the the um, everything that I need to learn in order for me to deliver the lessons to the parents as seamless and as easy uh, for them to access for their children. Um, so uh, that has taken time um, in my day to day to just make sure that, you know, we've gotten our lesson plans. I mean, the lesson plans has, have already been written for the students. So now how do we deliver it, um, you know, uh, without being physically present so I for me I just prefer to to record the lessons and and upload it so that way that I uh, reduce the pressure of being live um, I also think that um, you know it also gives parents the flexibility to just access it whenever and wherever they can um, instead of 
we give them like a set time and then they have to arrange their daily routine to make sure that um the children are able to sit down during those lessons because you, we do have families who have three or four school going children and they all need to log in at the same time and then uh like maybe you don't have enough uh resources in terms like not enough laptops or tabs whatsoever so so i've done it this way um to just give parents that flexibility to just assure them that um the schools are still here we may not open physically but teachers are still here um lessons still runs <laughs> um you know you can still uh you know there are activities for the children to do um so like this just to give that sense of um normalcy you know we need to to show children that we're still here you know um i just received uh, reza's home based learning lesson and that's fine and i think i'm going to do it with him uh he they share us this song about the coronavirus which is really fun i think i'm going to record us doing that and i'll upload it inshallah um yeah so that's it so that's all for today um i hope you learn a few tips or two did i share a few tips or two well you know thank you for watching this video and uh see you in the next video stay safe stay home bye bye